And there are major upgrades in store for Muskegon Staple. A more than $7 million renovation will bring the Boys and Girls Club of Muskegon Lakeshore into the 21st century, allowing it to continue to grow its mission. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker got an exclusive first look at the organization's future. All this is state of the art in 1979. Like the rest of the former fitness center, the maze of duct tape, tanks, and old gauges tucked inside the boiler room at 900 West Western Avenue undeniably shows its age. This expands like a whole nother 30 feet that way. The guts behind a facelift of epic proportions. Things that need to be addressed to really carry this out for the next 10, 15, 20 plus years. Engineered to carve out a fresh, tailor-made space for new owners, the Boys and Girls Club of the Muskegon Lakeshore, inside and out. In our STEM room, so that's where you'll find your Lego robotics, your 3D printer. So it became much bigger than just us, right? The Boys and Girls Club. Club CEO Dakota Crow gave 13 on your side an exclusive first look at the extensive plans and renderings. When you look at the youth service piece of it, you've really got age appropriate homerooms. In each homeroom, you have an academic center, you got a recreation center, You've got a lounge. From a STEM lab to the climbing wall to the artist studio, teen lounge, game rooms, quiet spaces, to a revamped state-of-the-art aquatic center, one part style. Kind of pods that you can go into, listen to music. And one part substance. He explains the upgrades will allow them to make room in the clubhouse for around three times as many kids. It's all about sense of belonging. And that's really what we create throughout the building. And keep them in the building longer, in some cases after they've aged out of the club's traditional programs, with a leg up from a growing Swiss Army knife of community partnerships. For a long time, if you've got a senior in a program, you hope you gave that senior, that, that youth, all the tools they need to succeed. They graduated, right? The nice part about that is this building is still here for them. Expanding its mission to the point where it's no longer just a boys and girls club, but a Muskegon club a gathering spot for the whole community it calls home. And the community's got some big expectations. We've got some big dreams. We still have about $3 million to go um, in, in our fundraising to help us bring this to life for the entire community of uh, Muskegon. If you'd like to give, check out this story on our website where you'll find more information and a link to donate. In Muskegon, Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side. And that HVAC system will get a state-of-the-art geothermal upgrade. Bids have already been sent out, and they're just looking to find the right local contract to do the work.